Hey guys, Ryan Feathers Elite. Pigeon Auctions, what is going on guys? Where am I sitting? What am I doing? I'm supposed to be driving, but I'm not going to be driving just as of yet. If the camera swiggles a little bit, it's just the birds in the basket, the super selected pigeons that we've selected. Ricardo has been on fire today, selecting pigeons. Yes, yes. He is, he's been out of this world. Now you're saying, what, what, what am I talking about? What am I doing? Who, where am I? Let's see, make sure the internet is working before I talk to you all. Michael Peevler, how are the cookies baking in the tree? David Tracy, see, look at the women, they're cleaning up always, eh? You're making sure it looks pretty. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Hello, we are at Pumpkin Farm, and it's called Pigeon Roost Farm. Mike Green, what's going on? How are you guys? I'm going to rotate, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rotate the camera. Actually, I'm going to show you where we are first. Oh, let me post this up. Team Van den Posh, this is it. You see it on the screen. They look quite happy in the photo. When I'm looking at the photo, it looks like a well, well-oiled machine. And, and so you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Put the camera up there. Just we were just giving a little show here. Reminder, guys, this show works always best when you participate. If you don't participate, then you're not really a part of the show. So hey, I'm going to introduce you guys. Oh, look at, look at you guys. They're perfect. A perfect couple. Perfect. perfect team. Go ahead. Introduce yourselves. Wait. The lovely lady to the left. First. First who? Who? Who are you? Leanne. You, Leanne. Yeah. Leanne. You, you, are, you are the daughter. Yes, daughter of Jan. Yeah. Daughter. Yeah. I hear you're a good pigeon racer. Yeah, I am. I you learn from the best. You learn from the best. Yes. Oh, this is good. And you, my friend? I am uh, Ricardo. I love the name, eh, Ricardo. It's very, very Spanish, kind of romantic. It's yeah. a good I'm, name. Um, I'm the love manager from Liana. <laughs> this must be a tough job. Yeah, yeah. I have a really hard boss. You, you know, guys, I, honestly, we were sitting here, and uh, we were. I, I was getting this all set up, and Liana, she, she kept cracking the whip to go feed the birds. I wanted to get it on camera, but you got it done. She's the boss. She, yeah, know, she, she knows what's going on. She, yeah. she, she, you, you love pigeons. Yes. And you always grew up in pigeons? Yes, I always grew up, but uh, I started helping my father in 2003. 2003? Yes. And just, it just, it, you love pigeons. It, it's, it's right yes, into I, you. Yes, I like to, to breed them, play with the youngsters. Yes. I, I, he tells me, you're, you're, you're the best bander. He yeah. says, nobody bands pigeons. More like than Liana, yeah. She, she's good. Yeah, everything. <clears throat> if you have the small birds, the the, the what's babies. The name? Yeah, babies. No, youngsters. The small birds in the tree. <laughs> yeah, she also the wild, the she wild also banded. She banded. <laughs> she's banding heavy. Yeah, she don't care. Not only pigeon. She banned everything. She, well, hey, that's uh, a, that's okay. Also, wait, wait also, where's also your ring. where's your ring? She didn't uh, bend you yet. Uh, no, I, I, you know, <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> in, the, in, in the evening. Now, for you guys wondering, how good is this this team? How good are your pigeons? Uh, our pigeons are super. Super. Yes, and we we as team are also very good together. Yeah, you guys all work very well together. Yeah. The results are very. Very high. You fly a big team of pigeons, but you get super good results. Yes. Liana is uh, doing the, the, the breeders and the... The, the, yeah. the breeders, and the youngsters, uh, the, the pigeons for selling. For sale. For sale. I, I, yeah, I take care. And I take care about uh, the race team. And uh, I, have, I try to, to, to every year... Uh, you know, better, better, better. Mm -hmm. And Liana have to send me youngsters from the breeding loft. <laughs> is she a good breeder? She is a good breeder. Liana, what, what is the secret to breeding good pigeons? What have you learned from, from your father? That is a good question. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 you probably don't even realize what you've learned. No. And when you think about it. The, the, the pairing, we make it together. So... Uh, Most we pair a line Jupiter with line Hurricane because so uh, we, we Jupiter with Hurricane. Yes. So uh, brothers, sisters, or grandchildren, they yes. all they cross. L yeah. Like like we told you before, eh? uh, 
all our pigeons are the same. The same. And they are. Lines. Guys, we selected today. We it, selected it was the today same the pigeons. pigeons. The same. Uh, if it's a cock, it's a little bigger and a little deeper. If it's a hen, it's the exact same, just smaller. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and this is because 90% of our pigeons is Jupiter paired with Hurricane. And now we're getting the Murphy's Law. Yeah, from uh, William. From, yeah. Yes. And, and uh, this line of pigeons, how long have they been good for you for? How many years have they been winning? Oh, um, two, Jupiter is from 2009. Right. Uh, he was f uh, self, well, he was first uh, national ace pigeon youngster. Mm -hmm. And second Europe Cup winner. Mm -hmm. And he bred more than 60 First, prize, first winners. prize winners in first and second generation. So, father of grandfather. Okay. The Hurricanes came 2016. No. 2008, toch? Nee? Heb jij 16? Yes. 16. Yes? Because in 2008, yeah, Hurricane yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. born. Nee, maar wanneer hebben wij dan voor het eerste... This is where we get the couples fight, guys, but this is live. This is Je what we do. This is live. This is live. The Jerry Springer Show. No, this isn't Jerry. <laughs> this is... This is beyond Jerry. This, listen, you thought Jerry was crazy? You watch pigeon couples fight. Yeah. That's a real show. Now, um, okay. So the, these two lines, you've been working them since 2016. Yes. And they're just doing good. Yeah. They, they cross well together. Yes. They, they're good at the beginning, and they have the power to do it at the end. We have a question from Tracy from the United States. She asks, what is the most important single piece of advice you can give a new flyer ah? a new, a new flyer. flyer iemand die nieuw is <coughs> die begint don't um, don't don't buy 20 pigeons from somebody for a small um, price yeah yes better wait take uh, a little bit more uh, <laughs> Be a save, save, save a little bit more money mm -hmm. to buy directly from the good pigeon. Okay. We, we only buy youngsters from the winners or we buy the, the, the winner winners self. Yeah. You understand? Okay. If you buy our, our, um, our grand, grand, grandchildren from the good one, then it's a waste of money. This is and don't really listen important. To, to everybody because... Everybody is saying something else. You, you have to go to <coughs> Take one, your own one plan. person that raises good and listen. Take your own plan. Don't listen everywhere. If you go, yeah, if you go to 20 lofts, you're going to have 20 plans and yeah. nothing's yes, going to be right. Yes. Now, uh, my sister asks, this is a good question. Uh -oh. what's, what's the one pigeon... What's the one pigeon that puts them on the map as champions? What's, what's, in your father, in your time, what has been the ultimate pigeon? Loïke. Huh? Loïke. Loïke is a grand, the grandfather of Jupiter. And Jupiter is from 2009, so in the new generation, Jupiter makes the, the law uh, famous. Okay. But... Um, and from 96, we have Luike, and this was the bird who makes Jan famous. famous yes. So it starts with Luike, yeah. yes. and now it carries over to Jupiter. To Jupiter yeah. And now, <coughs> now you're going to find a new one. No limit. No limit. Yes. No, she's, guys. She, <laughs> she's a hen, so this is not good. Not good. So you, you, you can't build it around the hen, or it's got to be built around a cock? A cock is easier. Okay. You can put different hands to it. Robert Daughtry from California says, incredible breeding. Yes, they are pretty incredible, trust me. I've been here, I've seen it, I've handled the pigeons. Ten quality plus pigeons here, they're super quality. Herman says, same question like the one I had for Convenzoren. If they had to, to start again, where would you go? So, if you could buy pigeons... A, Pigeons from a loft in Belgium, one loft, and one loft in Holland. You can pick pick two lofts. What loft would you go to? 
If you had to start right now, you, all of a sudden today, a hurricane takes all the pigeons away and gone. You have nothing left and you're going to start over. Right from the bottom, where would you go? Curacao. <laughs> where? Curacao. <laughs> where? Oh, if, if we know the hurricane comes and takes all the pigeons, we don't buy pigeons anymore. We go on vacation. That's it, okay. <laughs> no. no. Um, in the Netherlands, I, f I think Willem de Bruyne. Okay. That's, that's hard to get pigeons, but yes. Yes. It's, yes. it's an impossible... But that's yeah. like meeting Santa Claus. You're never going to... It's almost impossible for 90% of the people. Yeah. Okay, but you would go there. Yes. And in Belgium, who would you pick? Uh, or, or Leideman. Okay. Leideman, because they are also very good racing on this mm -hmm. moment. Uh, in Belgium... I don't bu buy pitches in Belgium, I think. Why is that? Uh, because I think that the Belgium fanciers... Are uh, they they getting uh, make it bigger than it is? You okay. know, uh, okay. uh, everybody they are who over appreciated. Yes, everybody because who they have who every week two three national races and everybody yeah. in in uh, in Belgium is is a good uh, racer. Everybody. Okay. okay. But if I look, Jan Hoymans raced now two years in Belgium, mm -hmm. and he completely destroys destroy everything. everything there. So I think the quality of the pitches in Netherlands are better than in Belgium. Okay. Now remember, <laughs> if you get a whole bunch of Belgians show up here tonight, I'll be gone. You're on your own. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. It's fine. You, you ask my, uh, and, and, my honest opinion. And that's good. And I, I, don't I tell, need honesty. I don't tell Belgian pitches are not good. Yes. But I think the quality of Netherlands pitches are better. And, and you gave me the perfect answer. Right now, if you had to buy pigeons, you told me where you would go. Yeah. yeah. And there's not a lot in Belgium that you're interested. That could change in a yeah, year it, or two. It is, That's it fine. Is, it is. Look, uh, we have in Belgium, you have uh, Van de uh, Van de Hede. Mm -hmm. You have. This, this people raced very hard on the national races. Echt super. But nobody succeeds with these pigeons. So I want to try it. But... If I look around, nobody... And nobody's winning. If, you, if you nobody's understand? winning with people's pigeons, you don't want to try them. 100%. Question for you. Uh, what has been your greatest accomplishments so far? My in, in pigeons. You can, you can both answer. It's a good, this, is, this, is a, this is a good question. What is your greatest What is your greatest goal that you bereikt hebt? Your goal, what you... What's make? your greatest accomplishment? You won uh, the national... Uh, what's the greatest achievements in pigeon racing you guys have done? The best thing? Eight, the, the thing that makes you the most proud? Eight times best fancier of the Netherlands. 18 Olympic pigeons. 26, 27, 28 first MPOs. Uh, so quite, quite successful. Liana, what are you thinking? The same thing? Her father wants yes, everything. But that well, that was what Jan and I were. Yeah. But I think... But that's okay, because yeah. that's another part of you. That was you growing up. I was up. very proud last year of No Limit, because my father died. It was really hard. I, I, yes. I, it was... Yeah, he, he died in, in, in 12 days. And uh. I, we had to go... Keep on going. I, I wanted to stop because I was uh, in the brain. You're you're yeah. you're in a different spot. Yeah, I was uh, every day with my father together doing the pigeons, and yeah, he was my best friend. And yeah, I wanted to stop. And Ricardo told me, "Come on, go on, come on, come on." And I went going, going, going. And after the racing season, I was whoosh. because I have to drive. Yeah. I last year we have first national A's. This year we have uh, second, third, eighth, twelfth national age pitch in. Super year. Yeah. And for next year, this year I told to Leon, okay, and this we have to do better. This we have to do better. We we have to build a new A for you. We you know because I I push myself to the limit. I want harder, harder, harder. Yeah. And and it, and it worked. It worked, yeah. And it's good. Yeah. He, he pushed on. Yeah. He, he had to be the strong one, and he yeah. was. He took, I, he took me going. He yeah, kept, yeah. Because he, I wanted to quit. Hey, I was that, that, you know what I say? That's a good teammate. Yeah. So 
So, hey, congratulations to you on that one. You're getting more points today. You're, you're right on. Uh, you're on the top, man. And that on Saturday. <laughs> let, let, this is Saturday. Don't, don't worry. We know we're going. We're going to get. We're going to get you a wig. We're going to get you long hair. Yeah. You're going to look good by yeah. the end of the nice, night. Don't nice, worry. Nice. Uh, okay. Ruben Morrow asks, and guys, I'm going to get to the questions, but I do this the way I want to do it. I take my time because we're going to have a little bit of fun. Sorry about that. What distances do do they do best in? Or, 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 where do these pigeons of yours excel? 100 till 500. 100 till 500. If you have the hurricane line, 100 till 500. If you have the line from Jupiter, so the, the, the base breeder here, you can race six, 700 kilometers headwind, no problem. But on the location where we live, on 80 kilometers overflight, uh, yes, it's very di yeah, it's very difficult. It's so it, it, you're in a difficult spot where you guys are, but the pigeons have the power to do it. Yeah, the Jupiters, right? Hurricanes, no, and and uh, hurricanes just good till 500. And when you cross them, what happens? Can they do both, or sometimes you get the crosses, yeah, some do better. I, I have one pigeon, uh huh. Uh, it was, it was uh, two years in a row by the first seven provincial ace pigeons long distance. Right. So it's possible, but not all. All right. We, we have a, a, a question here, and, I, and I'll ask it. I love cockbirds better than hens myself. Now, you guys here, what do you race? Hens. We race only hens because I hate cocks. You, uh, Terrible for raising. Robert, I seen a cock, a hen bird today. Oh, no limit. She's a 10 out of 10. The, one of the nicest hens I've ever handled. Super ace pigeon, it's eh? A, uh, an, Six 11, an 11. It's an 11. And how many first does it have? Outright six, first. Six. Six against how many, roughly in each race, multiple thousand pigeons? Two, three thousand pigeons. Two, three thousand pigeons. Six times first. Unbelievable. Uh, what is this? Brand Wang. I don't know how to pronounce that name. They have excellent birds. The father who passed away had birds named Loika, Jansen Bird. I have a grandkids from it, base of my loft. Yeah. So there's yeah. somebody yeah. I can't pronounce the name, but there you go. See? Mm -hmm. Impact Pigeons. And that was then, but it's still now. That yeah. Loika still is in the loft through Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question from Tracy. This is both, you can both, because you would know from your dad. Eye sign. Do you believe in eye sign? Reading the eye of a pigeon. The rings and I the like, loops. I like to see a strong eye, but I don't believe. You can look mine. It is pretty nice. <laughs> Not really, but okay. So, so eye sign, you just like a nice eye. Yeah. But you you don't go and buy pigeons off of eyes. No. I no. like it. You no. couldn't go out there into the loft and pick me winners off of the eyes. No. That's, that's baloney. Yeah. Rubbish. I, I like it when you have the, the, in the middle, the black, yeah? The, yes. The Irish, Irish? The, 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 yeah, the pupil. Yeah, pupil. Yeah, pupil. Yeah. pupil. If I like it when a lot of black is around the... You like the ring, the bottle yeah, cap yeah, thick yeah, ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You see it by a it, lot of good pitches uh, who, who uh, bred very well. Full circles. Full circles. So a little bit, we got to the right, a little bit of eye sign, to the left, not so much. Understand. Uh, Eddie Ortiz from, I think he's from Chicago. No, he's from New Orleans. He's from somewhere in the United States. Loika Jansen bloodline is amazing. Robert Dottry says, wow, about the hens. Hey, guys, uh, they're winning. They, they haven't flown cocks in how long? Five, six years? Yeah. yeah. But you do fly young birds for cocks? Yeah. yeah. Do you keep the cocks? Yeah. From, from, no, I'm saying in a young bird season, when you fly them mm -hmm. the whole season, mm -hmm. are you going to keep certain ones to breed out of? Yeah. L like, can a, can a cock yeah, bird make yeah, the, the yeah, breeding yeah, loft? Yeah. yeah. But you just, you're done flying cocks. Yeah. yeah. It just doesn't, it's too much work. Too much work, uh, no, it's not too much work, but if it's, uh, um, uh, if we get rewarded mm -hmm. extra to play with cocks, yeah, we raise cocks, no problem. But I don't see the difference between playing with cocks or without. So why we have to play them? Okay. It's easy. 
Easy. Just, just the hens. Just the hens. Uh, Michael Peevler says, do they feed any type of vegetables to the birds or peanuts? Do you peanuts. Feed peanuts. Peanuts. Yes. Any love vegetables? Peanuts. No vegetables. Vegetable, None. No. 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 Okay. So this it means like salad or something. Yeah, lettuce. I, I also don't eat it. We can tell. <laughs> I know you're like me. eh? forget the just meat. Well, we had lettuce on the on the the carpaccio. carpaccio. That was beautiful. Was that was. That, thank you very much for lunch. I appreciate that. No, was, you thank you. Thank me. No, thank you. You drove us there safely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> next question I wanted to ask. Uh, Leanna, how did your father get into pigeons? Well, when he was a small boy at home, they had pigeons. Yeah. And that was it, just grew up, grew yeah. up. Was, yeah. he, was he always super good? Uh, no, he started for himself when he hey. uh, bought this house. When he was it that he did that house called? 92. In 92 he bought this house. Right. And then he built this loft and then he started for himself. Lucky. And then Cousier. the results came because before that uh, he was uh, together with his brother in Melderslo. They had a uh, uh, slachthuis. Butcher. He was a butcher. They had. Uh, they do butchering meat. Yes. Yeah. So, so he did that with his brother. They had a loft, but yeah. his brother. You saw it today his brother. Yeah. I told it was his half brother. <laughs> you don't know it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. This man, he is, he is, he raised also with pigeons. Mm -hmm. And he come, every week he comes, tell me, How we must you do must it. do this, you must do this, you must do this. Then start the race on Saturday. We have 48 pigeons. He get his first pigeon. He come to here and he tell, Oh, this is not good. This is not good. And this was also with Jan. So in 96, Jan decided to and split. Go on his own. Yes. yes go be on his, be own. his own boss. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and then it starts to go up. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Just you keep working, keep evolving, keep, keep breeding. Yeah. And that, and that was it. And, and, and uh, do you guys prefer young birds or old birds for flying? Old why? I don't like it with the young, uh, with the young uh, birds. No? No. No. I feel so much stress. Trust. Stress. Stress, stress with the young pigeons. Yes. Because, because she, 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 for me... You lose so many pigeons nowadays. For me, a pigeon is a pigeon. For me... And I have to race, uh, race with it. And I just look first prizes. This is what I want. Okay. For Leon... If she has a, 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 a nice pigeon who, who comes to her, she play with it, okay. and she is yeah. in love. <laughs> she, she's the mom. Yeah. She's the mama. Uh oh. And this is yeah. Yeah, difficult if you want to race hard with young pigeons. Last year it was terrible. Lots of losing with, yeah, with youngsters and lots of pigeons that came wounded back. And so yeah. you you and and the, the the old birds, it's more easy. Yeah. You already know what you have. Yeah. Less problems, yes. less stress. Yes. Uh, question for you both: What do you guys think of one loft racing? In in America, one loft racing is the this is the new pigeon racing of the world in America. What do you guys think about it here? Leanna oh. hates it. Oh, okay. Why do you hate it? I don't believe in it. What don't you believe? It's all about the money. Yeah, there's whole life. Yeah, but... <laughs> your whole life is about okay. the money. Go people, ahead. The people with lots of money, they... Yeah. They're, they're buying the races. The, yeah. the, the races aren't being run true. Yeah. So I these think. big races, you're not very interested in? No, not me. But Ricardo likes. I like it. You like it. <laughs> Why do you like it? Because I... Of course, I, the, 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 some races getting fixed. Um, but I believe that there are also good races, honest races. Mm -hmm. and but, 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 but and last I week in the Algarve, first they did, didn't came pigeons at, ho at home. Yeah, but this is what the people want. But, but the is it really what the people want? 
Or hard races? Why was it young, hard? Young pigeons, 500 kilometers, 38 degrees, head of, on the head, and not, wind on the head. And not very much training. Uh, it's too warm, too, too far, too... She, but she loves, she, she caring about the animals, yeah? yeah? And I think one love races is not caring about the pigeon, but it's, it's hard, it's gambling, yeah? It's okay. It's just... Um, I like. Uh, so sometimes we fight. Okay, yeah. that's we're not we're not all supposed to we agree bought, on everything. We, we bought the first uh, ace pigeon and also first in the final of the one love race Riachos. And uh, this year we have in the Golden Algarve uh, we have the fourth ace pigeon. So it's gonna. We start, slowly start uh, working on it. All right. Rosedale Lofts, one of your biggest fans in Canada. I know this guy. He says, was Hurricane out of Leo Herman's pigeons? No. 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 Okay. That, Rosedale, that, that maybe Leo Herman's had one called Hurricane as well. You know how sometimes people... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Confused. Confused. Uh, Mike Sheridan says, I like his attitude. You got a, someone likes you out there. That's good. I like him too. Somebody, hey! somebody on this world <laughs> likes me. Uh, how, okay, now, this is a really good question. Thanks for answering it. You got to see the loft tour that we did today. Yeah. Ricardo, he was on fire. You would have been proud of him. He was like, he did really good. Like, I, I, when I get in the car and tell my sister, I say, this guy nailed it today. He did a great job. But the question was, how much road training do you guys do? With your young pigeons. Oh. <laughs> I know what he oh. told me. <laughs> we, we, this isn't like Belgium. No. We drive uh, for before the season 40 to 50 times. 40 to 50 times down the road? Yes. Yeah. Um, and this is the, the first distance is uh, 500 meters. The last uh, distance is 120 kilometers. Um, and then we in the season we drive two times a week 50 kilometers two times a week 50 so, so a week. your pigeons get trained in a season probably in a car by you guys close to 75 times yeah mm -hmm. yeah and and the uh, the hens do they get a lot of road training one time a week one time a week yeah and um, before the races uh 10 yes, times yeah more because we have uh, in the in the beginning of the year, we have a lot of problems with the... The roofvogel, how you call it, the, big, the hawk. Yes. The, the hawk, yeah. yeah. The, he is attacking con, uh, non-stop. So we put yeah. them in the basket, drive and release them. And I I'm, I stay at home and with, call the, him with the whistle, I uh, call him inside. Yeah. Leanne is very good with the whistle. <laughs> well, hey, we gotta know. Whistle blowing is tricky, and you ever notice with pigeons? Maybe I have to try that on Saturday night. <laughs> to, co to come back uh, from I, the bar. I, I would try that. Yeah. But have you ever noticed if you're always the one calling the pigeons in? Yeah. And oh. you're blowing the whistle. Yeah. And oh. you give me the whistle. The pigeons don't act the same. They, no. they know... Yeah, they know the... They know they the call. It, yeah. it, it sounds silly or stupid, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. I hate it when we're sitting outside waiting for pigeons and people come to watch and they try and call the pigeons in. Just be quiet. Yeah. I'll do, I'll do my job. We have also a guy, uh, Shaq <laughs> Hendricks. He, he comes uh, always look. And it's an uh, oh. older man. He's always come uh, looking at... Uh, and, and he, he wants goes... To, and he... Go, go. <laughs> the pigeons are going, what are you doing? Shut Just leave me alone. Up. Yeah. yeah. This is live, guys. I this is why I love this. Okay, um, Barda Dang Wang. It's a crazy name. I don't Barda know how Dang to Wang. pronounce it. He uh, he. This is he asked about Lewicki earlier. Ask him if they have any Lewicki blood anymore. Line yes. Jupiter. Yeah, line Jupiter. Yes, line Jupiter. So uh, ninety percent of our pigeons have Lewicki blood, but not anymore on the pedigree because it's too it's far back too far yeah. back. it's too far back so yeah. any, anything from the, the jupiter line is all based in the back oh. on louica 90 percent yeah. of our pigeons is jupiter so line. you and guys i'm going to tell you i have a basket here of eight pigeons they all feel identically the same pretty darn close uh very good quality well that's some impressive training i'm impressed okay uh herman says well in case of hoyman's who has very good pigeons? Don't forget, he has two big lofts. 
one in the south and one in the north of Belgium. So the wind direction doesn't make a difference to him. Okay, well, yeah, he's got two lofts. And yeah, yeah, it's uh, smart. It's all in business. It's 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 a there's a plan here. There's a it's method to the madness. Really smart, really smart, because the wind uh, is it's always bingo. Jan is a real uh, businessman. Yeah. Jan is a That's right. And, and, we're, and we're not knocking that. And what that. he does and what he does, he does that good. He, he makes it good. He makes it good. Yeah. I, I like uh, the the look Jan likes pigeons. This is his hobby. Uh-huh. But I think Jan is more businessman than pigeon fancier. You know what I mean? What he, he how he makes it, how professional. Yes. Super. I I was there. It, it is quite a quite a <laughs> Quite a building, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what he's done, it is it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, his name is uh, the the guy's name that was asking about Loika is Barn Dog. Thank you, Ryan. My name is Barn Dog. Okay, I'll remember that. Rosedale says, can let them know a little hen out of Bear One Forty Eight and Loika Five Forty Six managed to complete a certain one loft race. Again, again. Uh. Bear 148 and a Loika 546 managed to complete a certain one loft race. Three bred, three entered, and one did it all. That's what he's saying. So, something from your blood has done very well for him. Yeah, bear. Already. Uh, bear. From the yeah, Lime Bear. Yeah. Lime Bear. Yeah. Okay, so Lime Bear and a Loika completed yeah. a very tough one loft race. He was very happy. So that's good. I told you, this guy was a big fan. He, he's, he's been bothering me to come here for a long time. <laughs> <sighs> what was I going to say? All the questions came in and I lost my train of thought. So Eddie Ortiz says Jansen's. Jansen? Is he Jansen blood in the pigeons? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Louis is yeah. original Jansen. Original yeah. Jansen. Sorry about that. Um, so what do you guys, for the up and coming year, what are you guys looking to do in pigeon racing? What what's your goals? What what are your goals for this coming coming up season? I hope this season will be as good as last season. Yeah. I hope better. Better. <laughs> and I mean, you guys this year had yeah. what did you have? The second, second a national ace pigeon, third, eighth, and twelfth. Second, third, eighth, and twelfth. Yeah. And national ace pigeon that would mean against how many thousand pigeons? <laughs> uh. I don't know, two, three hundred thousand. Two, three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So you guys had the second, you had the third, you had the eighth, you had the twelfth. Yeah. In one year. Yeah. And the year prior, you had the first. Yes. Yeah. Guys, in two years of racing. Next year. This I, is what pe people people would people would live a whole lifetime to just finish twelfth. Yeah. One time. Yeah. Next year I want one, two, three. He's pretty cocky, isn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? We're going to get you a white suit and a cowboy hat, too. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. Um, I come in from Texas with the hat. I don't know. You, I don't think you'd fit in in Texas. Anywhere but Texas. <laughs> but we're going to get you the white suit. You're going to look good. Don't worry when we're done with you. Um, uh, it, it's, it's a pleasure to, to get to come here. Uh, this is my second time here. First time. Uh, we were together. It was good. We had a good live show. People yeah. loved it. I get to meet you, which is fantastic. Uh, I think you know a lot. You're 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 a, you're a real a real pigeon man. We can say yeah in, in a good way. Um, it's so nice to see a couple playing the pigeons together. Mm -hmm. You don't see a lot of that. No. And uh, uh, does it work well, or is there a lot of fighting? It works well. If she listen, there is no fighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, if, if he, if he, uh, maybe I think it's the other way around. Most right? of the time it works out good. Huh? Most yeah. of the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and when you guys go to buy pigeons, mm -hmm. do you, I mean, as we say, a couple will go and discuss to buy furniture. Do you go and discuss to buy the pigeons? No. No? no. Ricardo is uh, very good. He sees uh, uh, Ricardo every day. Looks hairboards, pipa, 
You read all I the look papers. every day, uh, one and a half or two hours. All he, the he knows auction, where the best pictures are. Oh. All the auction sites and yeah. everything. And I look what the market do. Uh, I trust on Ricardo. So you, if he says, hey, I bought this pigeon, yeah. away we go. Yeah. Okay, what's the most expensive pigeon you've ever purchased? Liana but 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 uh, but the most expensive pigeon. Really? Yeah, it was uh, twenty six thousand four hundred euros. Wow, cock or hen? Hen. 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 Daughter Hurricane. No, yes. daughter Murphy. Nee. Well. Uh oh. It was Jerry Springer show. Jerry Springer show. Here we go. <laughs> You, you guys oh, yeah, yeah, Dr. Murphy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. It's okay. It's starting. Sorry, yeah. Ricardo. It's, it's starting. <laughs> it's, it's the age kicking it's the age, in. It's, it's the, the age. age kicking in. Not yeah. the vodka. <laughs> uh, not the vodka, yeah. <laughs> Robert Daughtry says, holy crap, yes. You, you listen just, and that's just in two years of flying. Mm. We, we haven't talked about the last 10 years and how many wins, big prizes, but the super results. Uh, Mike Green asks from Idaho, the big one loft winner, what do you look for when you add a new pigeon to the loft? What do I? What do you look for? I should need a dive go back. For me, it's important that the fancier uh, who, where, uh, where we're buying lives on the end of the section, but okay. not in front. So at the farthest end of the at course. The farthest end of the yeah. yes, this is for me important. Um, the pigeon has to. It uh, uh, has to. We have we have to uh, have to uh, connection with the, the, the with the birds. Some pigeons you don't like. It's not my type or something. You know what I mean? Right. Um, for me, it's important we have a click with the pigeon. Okay. This is uh, right. It, so it, some pigeons um, pass any beyond. Yeah. Yeah. How do you tell it? Some some pigeons just don't fit here. Don't fit. Don't here. fit in. Uh, the, the pigeons of Willem de Bruin mm -hmm. are super for for us. For you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we have also bought other pigeons from other people who don't uh, were super for us. So. Okay. So you try them. If they're no good, you just move them out. Yeah. All right, uh, Rosedale has a question. Is the double grandson of Klein Blue still involved in their breeding program? Yes. Yes. We have uh, Klein Blau, eh? Blau, yes, Blau. Yeah, we have. You still have. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mike Sharon says very impressive. Yeah, it, it is very impressive. And if you guys wonder how I got here, I was very lucky. Emil Denny's. He always talking to me. He says, Van de Pash, Van de Pash, you got to get there. You got to get there. And I, I made the connection last year at, at the Doif. I believe that's where it was. Mm. What I can remember. I, what I can remember. <laughs> it was a little foggy that night. <laughs> and I don't mean I was foggy. It was foggy outside. Yeah. Um, I think both. I think both. <laughs> yeah, that's double fog. Eh? That's, that's bad. Um, but yes, the quality is here. They, they have the pigeons and they've had the pigeons winning for years. Now, how do people do with your pigeons? Good. Uh, Very good. The last five years, we have on five different <coughs> uh, lofts, we have a first national ace pigeon bred mm -hmm. by us. Five different lofts. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we get a lot of references uh, mm -hmm. yeah uh, about people oh we win uh, also in China Taiwan everywhere oh, we, we, we win a big prize with pigeons uh, from us I think Jan always told 90% of the people who buy pigeons here uh, succeed with it told Jan always 90%. That's a lot. <laughs> that, but that's I a lot. That's yeah. a lot. That's but a Jan lot. always told it. That, that, that's but a good succeed number. On, uh, succeed on, a, on, on his own... Uh, own level. Own level, yeah? Own level, yeah. yeah. I, I understand you what you're saying. You can also it, it's a first in the club. Oh, yeah, you can actually have even a first to your loft. Yes. You know, if you're not doing this 
professionally or you're having fun and you, you don't have a system, but the, you have all the different pigeons and your pigeons are still up in the front. I get that. Uh, Mike, Mike Vanderyak says, they seem to make pigeon racing fun for themselves. That is refreshing to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you guys like pigeon racing? You guys watch every weekend together? Yeah. yeah. You want to kill the neighbor that comes over? Yeah, so it's always a lot of fun. <laughs> I get it. Um, did Re Oh, this is a good question. Did Ricardo have pigeons before he met his wife? Yes. I had uh, pigeons from, I was a small boy, my father, my grandpa, my grand grandpa. Great, great grandfather. Yes, they all have pigeons. Were they good flyers? In the region, yes, but national, no. Okay. But in the, in the area in the, where, where they raised, in the, the section. So, yeah. when you guys met, you were in your own racing your own pigeons, doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. How did you become... Because sometimes you can bring different... You can try and fly partners with another pigeon guy and it just doesn't work. Like you, your, your father and his brother, they just didn't work. No. When you came to be a part of this team, how was it? Did you have to change a lot? Did you... No. Um, because what I do with the race team... I do what I do. Uh, nobody telling me uh, you you have to do this order of something because no, but you, you learned the best from Jan. I learned everything from Jan, so my way to do it is the same like Jan. Yeah. Okay, so but you had originally your own ways, and then Jan helped you out. He yeah. he guided you, gave you some ideas, maybe open your yeah, mind up. We, we Jan and I we was on the same page, sort of. Yeah, but we we we. Um, a lot of, we talk two, three times a day. We talk about pigeons. If he, if we have a birthday, he comes sit next to me so we can talk about the pigeons. Always if, pigeons. If, if we have to go to a funeral, yeah, <laughs> he comes sit next to me so we can talk about the pigeons. Always pigeon, pigeon, pigeon. Yeah. And, and of course, I learned a lot from Jan. But sometimes we just talk and talk and he listened to me, I listened to him. He has a book, a book, okay. and he write everything down, yeah? Everything he write down. Now, I look back, after he died, I look back in the book, and a lot of things, what I told, he write it down in his book. So it was not only that I learned from him, but it was... You're going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your minds were opening up from each other's yeah. ideas. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes if you have a fish, sometimes you have to try things. If you yeah. if you just look like this, and somebody else tells to you, hey, maybe this of this this is also a good idea. Sometimes you have to change your mind. To refresh, so so not to keep stuck in uh, in your own. Uh, I I get you a hundred percent. Okay. Rosedale says great pedigrees behind their birds, national winners, ace pigeons, and. Birds bought in from others of same value. Uh, Raggy from the Philippines says, hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Hi. So basically, this is, you guys came together, it all worked out, and it just been sick. It keeps getting more successful. Yeah. And I guess if it's not broke, what are we fixing here? It's working good. Yeah. Let's uh, let's hope ne for next year also. Yeah, and, 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 best. and what uh, what are you finding uh, in the sport? Because you guys are young. How do you find the pigeon sport? How do you find the, the people in it? How how, how do you? Difficult, what would you like to see? Difficult, difficult. Because uh, <clears throat> there are uh, there is a lot of old people here mm -hmm. who don't want to change uh, some ideas. So what I told you before, like you have a vision yep. and uh, you don't look left or right, you don't want to listen to something new, uh, this is a problem, I think, because I think we need a little bit more younger people mixed with the older people, so we get a refreshed, uh, yeah. A refreshed product. Product. Fix it up a bit. Yes. Because Spice now, the, if there are problems, they're looking away, and they're putting it uh, under the table, you know, and... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, I think it's 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 good. Uh, Carlos... I, I think Ricardo runs for president. 
Yeah, you kind of look like a president. <laughs> we still need you in the suit with the cowboy hat. <laughs> Carlos Dextera says, I will be happy if my wife helps me out with the birds. Obviously, his wife's not helping him out with the birds. And, and you guys do this all together. Yeah. Like, it's seven days a week. This is what you guys do. It's yeah. pigeons. You eat, sleep, breathe pigeons. And the, yeah, three pigeons. And the weekends, we try that she have free. Free. But if I was to the bar, she have to come work because I have to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But uh, normally, in the weekends, she is free. And uh, in the in the winter, huh? Eh? Not in the summer. In the summer is it seven days a week. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, in the week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, question here, Franco Basiglia. He asks, "Greetings to you all." Young Bird Racing. Which system do you use? The lights or the darkening system? Both. Well, you originally start with the darkening. Darkening. And then you put them onto the yeah. light. Yeah. So it's the darkening system. Robert Daughtry from California says, do you feed buyer's feed? No. What feed do you use? We feed Paloma. Why Paloma? Because I've seen a few, few top lofts feed Paloma. Uh, we feed Paloma because they have a good line of products. Um, and for me, if you make an um, appointment with them, mm -hmm. then this is 100% um real if, if 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 you go to to before we feed buyers uh we make a little deal for uh, yeah for yes. some reclame and stuff um, for advertising advertising um and they don't keep the their word their word yeah so, and so paloma, Pal paloma you you get you guys worked out a deal yeah yeah they do some promoting and they kept their their word for yeah. it yeah okay so that's good yeah. It's good to work with people that keep their word. That's the, I, the, the this worst. Is what yeah. I, for me, also, I like working with people who keep their, uh, keep their word. 100%. Yeah. I yeah. hate it when uh, somebody tells yes, 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 and no, no, do, no, 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 no. Yeah. They do the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> then we have to talk in all <laughs> Because, uh, you know. Well, let's talk it out right here, right now. I'll be home early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yesterday what? I was to the bar, yeah. It, I know. Liz, I came here today. Yeah. He was laying in the chair like this, like he's sleeping. And he said, I hope you are going to be late. He wanted me to come late today. Yeah. yeah of tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, he tried to change it for but tomorrow. But now I am happy again. And now, of course, we had good lunch. Yeah. And thank, thank you for the lunch. No, thank you for taking me. It was a very nice place. Um, hold on. Michael Peebler says, are they full-time pigeon fanciers or do you have other jobs? Do you have any other work? No time. <laughs> no, no time, time no time. We have too much pigeons, so no time. Okay. Eddie Ortiz says, honesty means a lot. Yes, it does. And, and guys, this is why we're here. When Emil Denny's recommends someone, I already know 100% they're solid people. Yeah. They're not going to bullshit you. They're not going to dick you around. They're not going to make an appointment and then back out. Mm -hmm. This, it, it's one of the most important things. They're stand-up people. They're a, they're a team, and this is what I really like. And you're seeing it. Rosedale asks, "Do they have their own uh, their own mix made up for them?" I watched a video in which Yan was specific about the birds were what the birds were eating. So, what yeah. was your father really? Specific? Yeah. And what about you? Were you a little different? Yeah. You're a little different. Okay. I am a little bit more easy. Oh. Now, do you have with Paloma? Do you have your own mix? No. So you don't. Yeah, like, yeah. I I buy uh, a pallet. This, this, this. And, uh -huh. and mix I it mix it to myself. Okay. So you'll buy. Oh, I have my I, uh, my own uh, idea. Yeah. All right. So you buy this bag, this bag, this bag, and then you put it together yeah. the, the way you want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't you you have your own, but it's not bagged. Yes. Okay. You ever thinking about doing that? Getting yeah, the the, I, the, the I, Ricardo I, super mix. The the golden Ricardo mix. It is. We will put you like uh, the Flanders collection. Put you on the bag with the cowboy hat. Yeah, but the problem is my head don't fit on the bag. I think you know what he needs. 
<laughs> forget the cowboy hat. We get him with long hair, you know, yeah. white suit. L l yeah, l nice black long hair. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. A uh, ponytail. A uh, ponytail. Um, oh, shit, another question came in. Uh, Imbrecht and Vermil still good lines or or not? The Imbrek. Imbrecht. Imbrek. Imbrek. The breed, Imbrek? Imbrecht. Imbrek. Look, what, what's read, read, you come. You read the screen. It's, it's the breed, the lit up one, so you can oh. see it. Maybe I pronounce it wrong, and then you get all screwed up. Imbrecht and Imbrecht. Man, still good Imbrecht. line or not? Just asking. Old me. lines. Old Imbrecht. lines. Imbrecht. Yeah. Old lines. Yeah, I don't know. Now, let me, let, let me ask you a question on old lines of pigeons. So we could pick a line, like let's say Van Loon's. You you all know Van Loon, right? Yeah, Louis Van Loon. Would you go and get those pigeons today to win? No. She's quick. Why no? Because that that was long time ago. Would you go and buy the real Jansons now to win? Old Jansons? No, don't think so. Yeah? Ah yes. You would try the old Jansons still. Also the Van Loon. Because now also uh, Eierkamp raised, raised super, super, super. They're German, Imbrex. German, Imbrex. That, oh. He says Imbrex, it's a German family okay. line. No. Um, because Eierkamp raised super, mm -hmm. and the raising 80% from the pitches is Van Loon. So I think the pitching quality is still the same. But are they really Van Loon? Like, I, I'm saying... It's so far now away. Yes, yeah, yes. we had Falloons years yes. ago. But it's like Luwike. Luwike is also long, 30 years uh, ago. But the, is the line still there? Yes. It is. But is it? Like, I'm saying, you guys have put your own spin on it now mm -hmm. so much that is it a Jansen anymore? Oh. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. She gets hot. Oh, uh, no. Did you want to show a pigeon or two? What do, I want? do you want to show one, one or two pigeons? I show one pigeon, no limit. You're going to show no limit? Yeah. Okay. We, we, you got to hurry up for that, though. Yeah. We're timing you. We want to see, how f we wanna see if you're faster than no limit. <laughs> oh, you're, you're full of muscles. Die duiven, waar moeten die heen? Kom straks. Hey, hey guys, I'm going to just, for just a second here, I don't know why the camera's acting up. Uh, like this? Oh, don't run. <laughs> Where is Blackie? Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to rotate the camera here for just a second. Blackie! And just, just to show you some of the quality coming to Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions from this team. Hand selected. Super nice. Box like oak. Strong. Look at this beautiful blue hen. I'm not going to give you the information on it. Very nice pigeons. Small, strong. Quality levels, second to none. This is... What makes me love this job, it's the quality of the pigeons, it's the tens out of tens. You guys ask when we come, do we select? 100% we select. And we want to show you that we go the distances. We want to, you guys to improve in your lofts. And now I'm going to rotate. And guys, we're going to wrap this up here in just a moment. We're going to show one pigeon. Hey, Ricardo. Yes. Uh, you want, want me to handle? Yeah. Okay. You tell me about this hen. Are you have good insurance? Well, wait, did you race it? <laughs> Why don't we take it for a trainer? <laughs> okay. Who is the hen? You tell me about her. Oh, I, have, I think they have to guess. You have to guess? <laughs> Can anyone guess the name of this hen? We're going to give you the last three digits of the band number. 
Two, oh, this is this bird's got a great number. Two one two, the last three digits. Blue hen, what a pigeon. Oh, this is super ten. You know what? We should you know what we should do right now? I have an idea. We should auction off this bird <laughs> online right now. Online right now. All the people. What will we start with? A hundred euros? Let's start it at a hundred. A million. A hundred euros. A million is the For the super game. blue hen, man, this is a 10. And guys, if you want the ring number, NL21, 13, 41, 212. Rosedale says, this is no limit, no limit, no limit. Yes, no limit. First national ace pigeon, MPO, speed, six time first prize against average two, three thousand pigeons. Super bird, super. And you're, you're pretty much sold out for a lifetime on this pigeon. People want babies from it big yes, time. Yes, we have orders for next year for, uh, yeah. And guys, this is the quality. Take a look. It's perfection in your hands, eh? Yeah. I can't even imagine racing a pigeon. Also, the, the muscles. Oh. Super. Super. Like a young woman breast. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. This is like your Pamela Anderson. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, super. Again, just steel eye. Nothing yeah. crazy. Molting. What yeah. a nice hen. You want to show one more? <laughs> we'll wait if you want. If you can run, don't fall though. Then I run. He's going to show us one more pigeon. What's the... Uh, What's the blood? What's the blood on no limit? The blood on no limit. That's Jupiter with hurricane. Jupiter with hurricane. Yes. So again, it goes back to Luica, uh, way yeah. back. Yeah. The father is father of five national ace pigeons. The father of no limit. Yeah. It's King Jupiter. Are you bringing him? No, he's he, not here. Is he? Is he coming to Canada for me? <laughs> Transport to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the bloodlines. I'm um, looking for the que any more questions here. Look at the wings. Incredible. Yes. Guys, to get these results, you have to fly the pigeons. This is why they're winning. They fly to win. They don't mess around. Uh, they have the quality, and they're not afraid to test and push. And, and I can't... They, they don't stop a pigeon if it wins a race. They keep pushing through, and this is how they get these ace pigeons. And, and that's the quality right there. Yeah? Uh-oh, we need the key. The key, the key, the key. Don't worry. Everything's locked here. You guys, if you come in here, you're going to be locked in if you get in. Uh, the, uh, let's look for the messages here. Reminder, guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions are running right now. I do want to throw this up while they grab one more pigeon. I wasn't even sure if we were going to show pigeons today. We had a busy day. If you're wondering who we're talking about, this is where we are, Team Van de Pasch. Super good pigeons. But let's not forget, running right now at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we've got the Yost Goosen online auction. Take a look at them. <coughs> Very good results, super good pigeons. And also, we were there yesterday as well, Patrick Books of Belgium, the Sprint Superstar with the Sagan Dynasty. Again, Winners, winners, winners. Both of these auctions running right now at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. While we wait for the final pigeon, we might get two if we're lucky. Let's not forget, you want to meet people like this? Right here. Come to the Pigeon Boss Tour. Where did I meet the team Van den Posh? At the Golden Doif Awards. That's where I met them. So guys, you can make it on this trip. You can. It's, it's not out of the, the realm. And you're going to meet people like this. You make friends, you don't know what can happen. But I will say, these people are first class, they're world class, they're nice, they're genuine, and you can see it, uh, the passion, the caring, the love for the pigeons. What is the price of a youngster out of no limit? Uh, I believe they're around 12,000 euros. Okay, 10 to 12,000 right now. But they're sold out. They're just... 
and it's a hen. Shout outs uh, from Gonzalez from Cuba. What's going on from Cuba? We're waiting. You're going to see something special. They always bring out something special. And this is our first auction. We are going to be working with Van de Posh for multiple years. We start off, we build the relationship, we select the pigeons, and we're going to go from there. We're going to keep climbing up. I like working with people that give their best, that try hard, and that want to succeed. This is why we're here. We want to bring these type, types of pigeons into your breeding program. People that are winning with them, you're going to get success. Meet Big Ben. Oh, yes. Big Ben. I think I've handled him before, but I don't mind. I'll handle him again. <laughs> what the hell? You have to, uh, youngsters, so it's a little bit there. Uh... Youngsters, eh? Yeah. So this is Big Ben. Big Ben is father and grandfather. First MPO, first MPO, second MPO, second MPO, second MPO, fourth MPO, fifth MPO, 10 MPO. Uh, super bird. Super. Super. Uh, super. Our best co uh, breeding cock what we have on the moment. He's the best one. Yeah, on the moment, yes. And, we'll and I gave him as a present to Ricardo. Uh, no, you can't even use yeah. him. You, you wait, you got a gift? You got a whole gift out of this, really? It's a beautiful gift. You know, have you ever thought about re-gifting a gift? No. <laughs> you can re-gift a gift. Yeah. What a nice pigeon this is. Yeah. It's Muscles. Uh, mm -hmm. Super strong. A little bit longer. Fan closed fan bones. Vents are nice. Back is sh real strong. Strong, strong. Nice, yeah. nice in the forearm. Yeah. Super muscles. Nice and, and and a nice snap to the wing. And he fits your hand like a glove. Now, are you going to put him to no limit? This year he was paired up to no limit. How did the babies come out? I can't even imagine. Very nice. I mean, this guy here is a ten. And no limit also. Yeah. So the youngsters are 20. He's a bit longer than she is. Yeah, she's what, some sh a little bit shorter. Now, they have identical eyes. The eyes uh, are the same. Does this matter? For me, no. You take a look right here. If, you, if you're if searching for good quality pigeons, Big Ben, Big Ben, Big Ben, 100%, I guarantee well, that... You know, you know what we're going to need for the Valentine's sale, eh? Maybe. We might need one out of Big Ben. So it, maybe it's possible? Uh, well, that's up to you. Wait, can I have a gift, please? <laughs> <laughs> you you want to? We can give this one away. Regift it, oh, man. You, hey, you, can I ask you, you a question? Take, yeah. yeah. What What did he get you as a gift? Nothing. Jesus, man, you're really starting to lose points here today, <laughs> man. I buy her flowers if she's angry. <laughs> flowers if she's hungry. <laughs> flowers if she's hungry. No, angry. when I'm angry. Ang angry. And he comes, uh, oh, honey. <laughs> oh, honey. Uh, unbelievable. Here, that's your pigeon, man. That's yeah. your, that, what a nice gift. Yeah. Well, like, you picked it out yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. <clears throat> what a super pigeon. You, you yeah, know what, you have, you yeah, have good yeah, taste in pigeons. Very nice. Yes, it, it is my pigeon, but I, when, when Ricardo is, yeah. Super, beautiful, outs outstanding. So that you also a little bit work. You're really sharing the work here. <laughs> and and uh, just like that, guys, this is what we try and do. We try to bring bring the best to North America. That's why we're here. Ricardo, yeah. this has been a good show. Yeah, I think also. Is Liana coming back? Yes. We're going to wait for her to come back. Then we're going to wrap this up. So you guys have about two minutes to get your questions in. There's the loft. i let you guys take a look. Simple. Nice. You'll see it on the loft tour. I go do deep you, inside. How much uh, followers do you have? Uh, on, on I can never tell you how many I have. Uh -huh. Because it, the program doesn't tell me. We could have 50. We could have 100. We could have 5. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. It's all about the rebroadcast. Uh, shout out to Jarek Gonzalez from Phillies, Phillies, Quebec City, no, Philly, Cuba, Cuba City, okay, so we got people from Cuba on, the father of Big Ben is, who's the father of Big Ben? It's the son of uh, Olympic Hurricane from Willem de Bruyne, so de Big Brun. Ben is a grandson of uh, Hurricane. Grandson of Hurricane. Yes. 
Uh, he would go well with cachet. His, his no, he father, wouldn't. His father is his father of more than ten top ten MPO winners. Um, in in average, eleven thousand pigeons. Okay. So, good. Uh, yeah. Wow. The uh, quality is. And and how long has it been since you started with the with the William De Bruyne pigeons? Two thousand eight. So you've had them almost. Uh, the first after after they took the pigeons, mm -hmm. uh, there, um, Jan is was going to Willem, and the first pigeons was like Fidel, Fatima. These are the the, the old generation pigeon from Willem, the Herman Custer uh, right? pigeons. And after that, we came with the Hurricane, with the Murphy, and so on. And we have from Darwin, and we have. From a lot of, yeah. Pigeons. Yeah. So. Liana. Yeah. We. We're we gonna talk? we're gonna wrap this up. We gotta get the we gotta get the, this love couple together. This is this is a this is a this is incredible. <laughs> now you know, Liana. Tomorrow you're gonna get a gift, eh? Yeah. The stores are still open. <laughs> Ricardo, when we get off this show, you need to get to the store now. I'm running. R oh. Don't run. I don't want you to be exhausted. You have to have a clear mind to pick out something very, very nice. I want to thank you guys very much for coming on the show today. I want to thank you very much for working with us. Uh, we hope we can build and keep going for years, but we start one step at a time. Yeah. I'll be back again. Mm -hmm. Good luck in the off season. Keep them good. And uh, hey, thank you very much for, for continuing in the sport. Yeah. You know? yeah. You, you thank you for watching. Hey, thank don't thank me. Watching. Thank you guys. You guys did it all. Great questions from the audience. I'm Ryan, Liana, Ricardo, the cowboy. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, I got to do now another live show. We're going over to Ponton Lane. What do you think of their pigeons? No, We're, you, I don't go. <laughs> uh, you don't want to come? No. Good, good pigeons? Uh, what kind yeah. of pigeons? Wait, hold on. Ponton Lane. We're doing an auction for them. Yeah. Okay. 80% of the pigeons they have, it's pigeons from us. 80% from you guys. It's mixed with Peter van der Merwe. Yes. Okay. A and, and let me ask you, good, are they good pigeon people? Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very you good. Can, you can Honest people? Honest, Honest people. people. You can trust them. Oh, yeah. Is Super it people. Super yeah. people. Yeah. But not so nice as me. <laughs> hey, guys. On that note, I'm going to wrap this up. You're going to see me in a little bit. I'm going to do a live over there. Landra. Ricardo, I'm Ryan. Enjoy the pigeons, guys. Thanks for flying with us. You guys have a wonderful afternoon, and you'll see me on in a little bit. Remember the Pigeon Boss Tour. You want to be on that. Thanks for flying with us, guys. Bye for now.